Hey, what's happening guys? This is Jala in Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to not only install TurnSave, but to set it up and get it working because TurnSave, uh, TurnSave is a VPN, for example, for those who don't know that. Uh, it's powered by Wire, uh, WireGuard. They also have a messaging app that is really secure for those who are very big on privacy. Um, so, depending on your line of work, are you a journalist, NGO, uh, non-profit, advocate, uh, freedom fighter, or you're just a regular person who doesn't want prying eyes into your business, right? So, they went further and created a VPN. Um, the problem is with the VPN, uh, it's not like your regular day-to-day -day install where you just install it and boom, you're good to go. Okay, there needs to be some configurations. Um, I, you know, um, found it, but I realized that it's not easy for your average person to install and configure it. So I thought I share this video with you guys. So hopefully it will. All right. So what you want to do first is you want to go up here um, on Google and search download save VPN. What is important, and you guys do probably already know about this, you want to go ahead and go to the actual website. Don't go through third parties like top 10 best VPNs or whatever, whatever, whatever. They can have patch versions of it. So you're going to go to the website itself as this turnsafe.com, right? So you click that. This is what you're going to get, All right? So you want to download the installer. This is the stable version, and this is the not stable version for Windows. As well, okay. Uh, this setting should be the same with uh, both platforms. So, what you once you download it, you should have it in your downloads folder, right? Um, so, mine is, for example, downloaded it, so it should be under my downloads folder. I go to this maybe this PC downloads. This is it right here. So you double click on it once you have it downloaded. Okay, and then you know, go through the on screen installations and all that is easy. Once you do that, the problem is, however, you're going to get this right here. And then when you keep going to connect, it's going to just um, say a re attempting handshake. Re attempting handshake is not going to connect. The reason being is you have to change the configuration. And I'll walk you through how to do that. So once you have the turn save VPN downloaded already, I'm already connected. You want to go ahead and hit turn save on this website, same website. So go back to the website and hit turn save. Once you get this, you want to go ahead and do either existing account or create an account. Okay. So what you want to do is you might can go with existing account and it would ask you to log in, right? Or you can go create an account. It's going to create an account number for you. Right. So what you're trying to do is you need to download this, you get the server details and download it. So this is the server here, this one for Netherlands, you have all these different servers here that you can get. Right. So once you get, let's say we'll go with the first one, Netherlands, we want to go ahead and hit generate and download. So that, and then it's going to take you to your downloads folder, so you want to go ahead and download that, and you see why I'm doing this. So now. Now, when you go to turn save on here, and then you hit edit config, right? Normally, you would see a bunch of uh, different, you know, codes and, uh, and you know, writings on here. They're generic, right? It would tell you in the very top they're generic, so that should not work. So you want to change that for a server, uh, private key, public key, and all that for the turn save to activate um, successfully. Right, so now you go ahead and, and go back to your downloads, which is right here. So you double click on it. When you open it, you would see whatever you see here, you want to go ahead and highlight it all, copy it. Right, once you copy it, you want to go up here and edit and then highlight all the ones that were in there, the generic ones, and then paste the correct one. You paste it, you go ahead and hit file save. So once you hit save, you close, 
and when you hit connect it will connect you to your desktop so for example I'll do this it's disconnected when I hit reconnect it's connected it happens really fast you can see that it's connected over here as well hi guys this is John and tech I hope this video is helpful if it is uh, please give it a thumbs up um, you know to support the channel and more videos to come all right peace out